Hi, I'm Ara Criswell, CEO of Carers Australia. The last financial year we've seen a period of intense activity and new initiatives, with several major projects being rolled out across the 12 months. Chief among these was the November 2014 National Carer Conference held on the Gold Coast in Queensland, which successfully brought together carers and delegates from across Australia and indeed the world to discuss a wide range of carer issues and to deliberate upon the future of caring in Australia. The focus on young carers and Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander carers on the first couple of days received particularly positive feedback from attendees. By bringing together carers, carer organisations, government representatives, business leaders, politicians, service providers and other key stakeholders, we were able to push the conversation forward, addressing a host of issues affecting Australia's 2.7 million carers. We maintained a strong public profile through a number of events and campaigns throughout the year. Carers Week 2014 was again successful in helping to raise further awareness of unpaid carers and caring in Australia. The week began with an official launch by the Governor-General and culminated in an event for carers at Kirribilli House, hosted by the then Prime Minister. Having both the Governor-General and the Prime Minister open and close the week with key Take a Break for Carers events highlighted the strong support and awareness of Carers Week at the highest levels in Australia. The year has also seen the charity bike ride Polypedal conducted on two occasions, in August 2014 and March 2015, spearheaded by then Prime Minister, the Honourable Tony Abbott. Not only did these events generate significant media coverage and public exposure, but they enabled us to engage with many carers in communities across regional New South Wales and Tasmania. With the 2015 event, culminating in a carer's fate in Launceston. These two exciting charity events raise monies for Carers Australia, which have been used to support a range of programs, including carer engagement activities and the Carer Ambassador Program. Very importantly, our ongoing relationships with fellow peak bodies, alliances and the federal government has enabled us to advocate on behalf of carers across a range of policy areas, from the welfare review to income inequality, age care reform, workplace relations and the National Disability Insurance Scheme. We look forward to continuing and building on these relationships throughout the coming year. Another key activity of the past financial year was the staging of the inaugural National Carer Awards in partnership with Life Without Barriers and Families Australia. With carer recognition as the chief motivation behind the awards, the winners saw their personal success as an acknowledgement of all of Australia's carers. We continue to maintain our international relationships forged in recent years via the International Alliance of Carer Organisations, of which Carers Australia is a founding member. In April, I visited Taiwan to speak at the first conference hosted by the Taiwan Association of Family Caregivers, which served as an important opportunity in continuing to grow our alliances with other carer organisations in our region. These relationships help to strengthen our evidence base, identify carer themes that are internationally consistent and work together on policy responses. Other activities such as the convening of the Parliamentary Friends of Carers Group, the annual gathering of the Australian National Young Carer Action Team, the commencement of the Young Carer Bursary Program and the launch of our Work and Care Initiative all highlight how we continue to make inroads across the broad range of issues and areas that impact Australia's carers. We couldn't achieve all of this without the support of our colleagues in the State and Territory Carers Associations and the wealth of expertise they lend us throughout the year. Our funders and corporate sponsors, a strong board and an exceptional staff team. Thank you to each and every one of you for a productive and exciting year. And most of all, thank you to the unpaid carers of Australia for all that you do. Carers Australia will continue to strive to ensure that your ongoing contribution to our country is forever recognised and respected.